Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nays and for those of you who are new to the channel or who just happened to stumble across this video. And I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday all about my faith, God of Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. So, I know I haven't really been on the channel. Bear with me, guys. There's just a lot going on. Um, a lot of good stuff, nothing bad. A lot of just good stuff going on. And, um, yeah, I've just been super busy. I am now teaching at my church um we are online of course with everything going on with covid 19 but i have started uh teaching with the children's youth ministry which is awesome i started teaching um bible study strategies on thursday via video um and there's just some other great opportunities i have with teaching sunday school lessons and um just awesome opportunities to teach in general and you guys know how i feel about teaching um i enjoy teaching the word of god even, even though i don't like calling it teaching but um yeah so many great opportunities um which of course means i'm gonna have like a super busy schedule so i'm still working out how my videos are gonna go because i don't want to stop posting two times a, like right now like i said in the intro we do tuesday thursdays and saturdays um originally it was just tuesdays and thursdays and then i tacked on saturdays for like book related things but I'm probably gonna have to like cut back to once a week and I really don't want to cut back to once a week okay I really don't so bear with me videos are gonna be a little sporadic every now and then so I apologize but this video as the title says above below wherever you see the title this is going to be a three month wrap up February March and April if I'm not mistaken I don't think I did February so even if I did I'm gonna redo it again but I don't think I did I think the last like book haul book video I did was um my tbr like my february reads and studies so i'm going to do my wrap up for february march and april i'm also going to be recording my may tbr and then i have a two month book haul for you guys for march and april so those three videos will be coming back to back um rolling out for you guys but yes so let's just jump into this with my wrap up okay so i have all the books stacked here already um and not a lot of books honestly um, just because it's been crazy from February up until now. Um, so as I'm recording this, it is currently May, May 8th, May 8th as I'm recording this, which is my cousin's birthday. Yes, she's 31, but whatever. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so February was Black History Month, of course. So I partook in a readathon for, I, I, I partook in three readathons for the month of February, which meant that I wasn't reading a lot of secular books. I mean, excuse me, I was reading a lot more secular books than, um, Christian books in February and then April was the April no March what happened in March nothing happened in March I just yeah I didn't I didn't read as much as I wanted to I had a lot more on my list that I wanted to read but I didn't get a chance to because of one book dragged out for me and then April was uh, another readathon that I partook in so yeah and for the month of May I'm partaking in two readathons so <laughs> Not a lot of Christian reading, but still balancing it, balancing it enough to at least have three to four books um, of Christian books, if that makes sense. Hopefully I just made sense to you guys, but let's start off with my February. So February books, I have a total of six, six here. I think six. I'm probably missing. Yeah, seven actually, because I'm missing one. One was an ebook. So um, I'm going to start off with a nonfiction book. So the first one I read, I don't have a physical copy of yet, but um, I have the study guide for it, and that's going to be Alive Must Fall by Louis Giglio. I love this book so much. It is a five star read. It is basically about um, David and Goliath and understanding that we are not David in the story of David and Goliath. We um, are more like the Israelites and Jesus is more of David knocking down and killing our giants, which this goes to various giants. Um, anger i think anger fear rejection comfort addiction and um other things like that i think it's like seven or eight chapters in this book or ten probably um this was our book club read for was it february i think february um and yeah i i will always love this this is a study guide like i said um i i still haven't fully done the study guide i think i did all of session one and then stopped when i got to session two yeah so i never got a chance to finish it so i am going to go back to the video soon but um i love this story this story i love this book so much it's a really good read and i definitely highly suggest you guys read it um it's it's really good it's winning the battles against your giants so this was a five star read for me 
loved it moving on another reread i think all of these both were rereads but this one is make your voice heard in heaven by barry c black who was a chaplain of the united states um and this is how to pray with power and i gave this four stars um it was really good it is definitely a five star read but for me because a lot of the stuff i already knew through years of being at my ministry um it really wasn't as impactful as it was the first time around um this time around i did annotate a lot um i annotated i just didn't put sticky notes in it yet um or sticky tabs rather but um this was really good i definitely would suggest if you're looking to learn more about prayer um and how to do it with power this would be a great one he goes through dis different topics um such as praying with assistance uh praying with a partner praying with submission perseverance fervency praying when god is silent praying when you don't feel like being good or when you don't feel like praying like he really stresses the importance of prayer um, and building your relationship with God through prayer and things like that. So this was good for sorry for me, but it is definitely a five star for anyone who is reading this for the first time. So great book. Following that, I read The Weight by Devon Franklin and Megan Good, which is a powerful practice for finding the love of your life and the life you love. So um, The Weight is pretty much all about celibacy, <laughs> pretty much. Um, and I gave this four stars. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed their personal insights and um, their history and how they got together and things like that. But for me, I wish this was a lot more of, uh, there was a lot more scripture. You guys know I like scripture. And I feel like any book uh, that tries to focus around God um, and push you into understanding why God created things a certain way, there should be more scripture. And this just wasn't scripture heavy for me. Um, now, it doesn't have to be like super saturated in scripture, but I really wish there was a lot more scripture to it than just their personal thoughts and things like that. But it was still a good read. I still enjoyed it. You guys know if you saw my prayer wall video, if not, click it on the screen to go watch that. Um, but I took the less prayer out of here and put that on my prayer wall because I definitely, um, here it is. The Lust Prayer basically prays against lust and um, it's really great read. It's really, really good. So I would highly suggest if you're looking into um, celibacy or just learning about it in general, um, finding, waiting for the one that uh, God has or, ordained, designed, however you want to say it for you, this is a great book. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. All right. So I don't even know how I'm going to do this. Let's, let's do this. Let's, let's do it like this. We're going to start off with this one book. Um, and I mentioned this in one of my videos on um, in the Facebook group. I had a live uh, video going when I was cleaning up my bookshelves and we were talking. And I mentioned this book. So Queen of Sheba by Roberta, Roberta Kells Dorr. Biblical fiction. Um, it's about Queen Sheba and King Solomon. Um, this is book three in a series. I don't know if it's like a series you have to read from book one to book three. Or if it's a companion series where you can read them out of order. But um, I know the first one talks about Bathsheba and David. The second one focuses on Solomon. And then this one focuses on Queen of Sheba with Solomon. Um, DNF this book. I got to page 99. I think 99, right? 98. I got to page 98 um, and I DNF'd it. A DNF is did not finish for whatever reason. Um, and I have DNF books before, but this is like a hard DNF. Like, I don't ever want to pick it back up again. And, <sighs> I don't like the writing. It irritated me. I didn't like how they characterized Sheba, um, the Queen of Sheba. Excuse me. I, I, I don't. I didn't really care, and um, I just <laughs> the writing killed me. And I think what is her name? Is her name Bilquis? Yeah, they call her Bil Bilquis in this. But I know from mythology that Bil Bilquis. I think Bilquis. What I'll put the name on the screen. That um she has to do with uh sex like she's like a sex goddess or something like that but the queen of sheba wasn't that sort of person so i'm it confused me um the writing bored me i just i couldn't i, I didn't want to put up with it pretty much so i dnf it and i feel bad because i actually contacted the publishing company themselves to review this book but i <laughs> I don't know maybe i need to read the first book and then the second book before this i don't know i do not want to just give it a, like give it away say it's done for i do want to try it again maybe listening to the audiobook um but yeah this was a straight dnf after 99 pages i will give a book 100 pages sometimes depending on how massive the book is maybe two three hundred but at 99 98 pages I wasn't I wasn't caring so it got a DNF for me and normally when I DNF a book I will give it a soft rating so I did this with collateral damage um, which you will see in my uh, upcoming 
TBR for May but I did that I read like 10 to I think I read 11 chapters and I DNF'd it because it was just too much romantic suspense for me at the time but I was enjoying it so I DNF'd it and gave it three stars because I enjoyed what I was reading however this I don't know what the heck I was reading I, I was bored it dragged the writing was weird again this was written originally back in 1980 something let's see 19 it says 1990 excuse me 1990 um and then i guess it got republished in 2013 uh but I, I didn't i didn't care enough okay i didn't care enough so i'm gonna hold on to this probably reread it in the summer listen to the audiobook see how i feel and if i can't get through the audiobook it's just gonna go and i'm gonna feel bad because i personally requested this but this is just me being truthful and honest. I requested this book from the company. I contacted them, asked them if I could review this. They sent it to me and I don't care for this. So sometimes it happens. Sometimes it happens. Okay. Next, I read the book two in um, Left Behind series. And that is going to be Tribulation Force by Tim LaHaye and Jerry B. Dinkins. Oh my God, four stars. I'm loving this series so far. I'm currently up to book five. I'll be reading book five this month for May. But I don't even know how to explain. So this is basically a Christian sci-fi christian sci-fi futuristic sci-fi i don't even know what to categorize this as because like one minute it's like fantasy not fantasy one minute it's like supernatural but then the next minute it's like a thriller then it's like a mystery and then it's like sci-fi I, I don't know okay it's christian fiction with a lot of genres bunched up together okay it is book two this was great i'm loving it it is just <laughs> Okay, so I can't really tell you exactly what happened in this book because it's the second book. But the Left Behind series is basically the story of the rapture. Um, it's a fictionalized story of what could happen during the rapture. Um, people are taken after the rapture and then you have those who are left behind and it's just them living through the book of Revelation. And it is freaking epic, 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 epic. I hate Carpathia. I'm always, I feel like I'm always going to hate him throughout the series. But he is such a good villain that I like him as a villain. It's weird, but it works, and the writing just pulls me in. Um, I try to annotate, but sometimes I just listen to the audiobook, and I feel like listening to the audiobook puts me more into the book itself. So I'm like reading and listening to the audiobook. Sometimes I'm strictly listening to the audiobook. Um, it is really not a long book at all. These books are not super long. They're just quick to fly through. I'm loving the cast. I love me some Chloe. I love me some Buck. I love Bruce. Um, I love Cameron. Well, Buck is Cameron. Duh. Um, I love Rayford. Hattie, Amanda, yeah, we got feels, but I can't get into it. You'll see the other two books that I'm going to mention um, shortly because I read the other ones, of course. But you guys know my goal since I bought um, 12 of the 13 books in the series. I wanted to read one a month um, since I do own most of them except for the final book. So um, that's been going well. And four stars, I highly would recommend if you're looking for a Christian fiction book that is going to keep you on your toes. Um, that is a mix of keeping true to scripture but also being fun to read but it really makes you think about the end times this is perfect um it might not suit some of you guys considering what we're going on what's going on in the world with covid 19 but um i'm enjoying this so much it's so fun to read so we have that okay so after that um next coming in at 4.25 stars is going to be living lives by natalie natalie walter i read this for february with my sis stephanie over at quilting beauty and books if you guys don't know we buddy read books every month and if you guys ever want to buddy read a book with me it doesn't matter if i read the book already and you finally got the book like if you ever want to buddy read any book you're welcome to join me and her or you can just contact me personally and let me know if you want to buddy read you know we can text we can email we can facebook instagram however but i love buddy reading so i'm always open for buddy reads okay i'm preferring us to buddy read christian books so biblical fiction christian fiction um if you're into reading like other books outside of the christian genre i'm totally for it but here on this channel i do want to focus more so on the christian um, biblical fiction i know someone asked me if i could share my other bookshelves on this channel and i definitely will um but if you guys are interested in all the other books that are not christian related just click the i go to my other channel nays pink bookshelf and um that's where i talk about all my fantasies my paranormal romances and things like that um but just don't be fooled i don't just read christian biblical fiction no i do read other genres outside of that okay just know i like reading in general but um yeah we read this book and this is book one in the harvard secrets i think is what it's called i read book two which was deadly to see a while ago thoroughly enjoyed this so i said let me check this out it's romantic suspense um a little thriller a little bit of romance i enjoyed it a lot with my sis it was amazing and i'm loving that i'm 
diving into the thriller romantic suspense genre and I'm thoroughly enjoying it so that was great um and then the last book for February that I read was <laughs> five stars it was bittersweet because it was the end of a series but it was so good and it wrapped it up so good and that was like flames in the night okay um like flames in the night by kind of link said is literally a five-star read the whole series is a five-star read okay if you don't if you guys don't know cities of refuge go get it okay the first book is uh, a light on the hill the second book is shelves of most high and then the third book is until the mountains fall this is the fourth and final book i was looking at my bookshelves because it's like right there but <laughs> um it basically follows from technically you would have to technically read the third and final book from her previous trilogy um which is the alpha egypt trilogy that book is called shadow excuse me it's called wings of the wind um but you can just start from book one of course but uh it follows the story of mariah and zarek from uh a light on the hill and their romance their growing family their children and this ended amazing it, it ends with the baby of the family terza and it's her romance with another character from um wings of the wind <sighs> it, okay it basically takes my favorite romantic biblical fiction right now for me hands down mariah and Derek. most likely i think i have to i have a ratings video because i know that jenna van marrick over at um jenna from jenna van marrick excuse me did a video like that sharing her favorite biblical fiction um romances and stuff like that so i'm gonna do that soon i'm still trying to get my rating together but um it's hard to really talk about this book because you have to read a wings um wings of the wind excuse me you have to read that to fully get the love from this but it was so you guys see i can't stop smiling because it was so good it was it was good it was amazing i loved it you see the tabs um what i like is that the cities of refuge more so focuses on um oh my god which kadesh they focus on the city of kadesh but um in this you also get to see the stronghold of uh, shakem and um also i think his name is othniel othello Oth not othello clearly that's not right um othniel i think that's how you say it excuse me guys i don't know why my phone is going off but um yeah it focuses on he's either joshua's or caleb's cousin or something like that i can't remember it's on the screen but it focuses on that it, it's it's hard to get it okay just if you haven't seen my reading vlog go watch my reading vlog i'm just gonna leave it there okay reading vlog go watch it so that was pretty much it for february so now we're gonna move on to march so for march this is where things okay so i had enough time to read books but one book dragged out for me and made me so mad and i'm gonna talk about that book but I have my books here so I only read one um non-fiction for that month for the month of March and that was Claim Your Crown by Tara Lynn St. Ellen yeah that's her name um and I gave this 4.5 stars this is good um this is more so geared toward teens but as an adult I definitely felt like I was at a coffee table just discussing things with her I did use this as my devotional book in the morning so I would read it um write in my journal write in my faith planner and things like that i was listening to the audiobook as well on script um but this was really good i enjoyed it um i thought it was cute sweet i did uh annotate in here every now and then but no tabs of course um but this is definitely worth uh, i think worth a read even if you're a grown woman this is definitely worth a read um it's walking in confidence and worth as a daughter of the king you guys know i call myself daughter of increase i call all of us daughters of increase so i thought it was fitting and um yeah it was an inspiration for me because if you guys don't know, I'm currently working on a book. I'm working on a few books, but I'm working on a book. Hopefully, I can have it before the end of the year. Um, but yeah, this was very, definitely an inspiration for me. So we have that. All right, so then we're going to move on. So I'm going to talk about the ebooks I read. Because I read two ebooks, right? Two, yes, I read two ebooks. Um, so they were both from the same author. So the first one was The Stranger by Jennifer Jennings. And this was the first book in her newest series about Rebecca. Um, and I gave this one a 4.5 star rating. I really enjoyed it. Um, she really took Rebecca, gave her a very interesting beginning. And um, I just, I enjoyed watching Rebecca grow, watching her be a shepherdess and things like that. Um, it was interesting. So I read that, loved it. And I can't wait for the second book to come out. But I did, was I was a beta reader for that. If I'm not mistaken, it's out now. You can get it. I will leave it linked down below for Amazon for you to get. But um, yeah, that was really awesome. I'm, I really enjoyed her writing on that. Um, and then I also read another book by Jennifer Jennings, and that is going to be Midwives of Moses. I'm going to make sure I'm getting that right, the name right. But yeah, this I gave four stars. It follows the midwives Pua and Sh Shapira, Sapira, can't remember that name, um, in the life of Moses through their eyes. And I enjoyed it. I couldn't stand uh, Miriam, but the writing was great. Also, seeing um, the queen 
who became the pharaoh i can't remember which pharaoh she was but i'll put it on the screen that pharaoh um watching her become who she was watching moses grow moses did piss me off low-key with his attitude just just a little bit but um again it's biblical fiction it was really great i enjoyed it so four stars okay so i'm um, moving on to the other three that are physical books uh, i don't even know where to go okay so we're gonna start with this book so my buddy read for the month for the month of march with my sis stephanie so we like i said we do one every month we thought <laughs> it would be a great idea to read this book because i we enjoyed this author's book other book um redeeming love by francine rivers we, we love that book right so we thought why not try sons of encouragement Now, I don't mind reading big books. I like big books. The bigger, the better. The more world I can get into, the more I can gain. But this is a bind up of her five novellas, which focuses on the five men that are, um, I'm gonna explain how she how she put it. Where is it? Cause she wrote it really well. Biblical men of faith who served in the shadows of others. So basically these are lesser known biblical men. Um, so she had Aaron, who was a brother of Moses. She has Caleb who served um, with Joshua, Jonathan, who was obviously under David, Amos and Silas. Um, overall as a full find up, 3.75 star rating. Um, I gave two books in here, the one on Jonathan and the one on Silas, I gave four stars. The one on Amos and the one on um, Aaron, I gave 3.75 stars. And the one on Caleb, I gave three stars. There's no words to explain how sad I was reading this. And not like emotionally sad, like the book itself just kind of made me cringe, made me mad. Francine Rivers, I love her writing. But I think when she wrote this, just, just, in, mm -mm, no, it, it didn't go well. Um, it dragged and the thing about it is I didn't even fully read the physical form I ended up giving up and listening to the audiobook and even the audiobook dragged okay so um was it good yes did I learn some things yes the reason why I really have a problem is because in the book of um, the one on Caleb which is called warrior the way she wrote Joshua was not aligning with the scripture that I read okay um, she made Joshua a very weak-minded person and Joshua was not weak-minded. Of course, he's going to have his moments of doubt and things like that. But the way she wrote him was like a little kid. I, I didn't like it. It didn't align with the scripture for me. So Silas, I truly enjoyed. Um, You were able to see, I think, Peter was in this. And I think Paul, if I'm not mistaken. Definitely Peter, though. You got to see Peter, and it was thoroughly enjoyable. But um, overall, as a full, complete book, 3.75 star rating. Will I keep it? Yes. This does include Bible study sections. It's called Seek and Find. So after each novella, there's like a Seek and Find, which you can do an in-depth Bible study on those those men. But um, this was not it. Now, the cover is gorgeous, but this book was not it. I heard that the other one, which is A Lineage of Grace, which is a one on five women in the Bible, was way better. So hopefully that's better, because yeah okay so then i read book three in the left behind series and that's gonna be nikolai gave me four stars we know i'm loving this um i can't stand carpathia 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 i don't know he's annoying annoying okay he's annoying but he plays the role of a villain so well um and yeah i think we're introduced to sion in this book um sion is a jew and he is such an amazing guy i love sion so much um i think in this book you do go to jerusalem for a few and then you come back um but this was really good i gave four stars and i'm like i said the series is right now at a four star all around for me so i i definitely expect it to go up from here loved it great and my five star read for the month um which i do have a reading blog for already and a book review posted on the channel star of persia by joe eileen smith this was five stars you guys i love this this is basically the story of um esther in its entirety and it was so good so well written the romance was amazing i love the romance between her and xerxes i loved the fact that we got to meet vashti in a different in um in a different site or a different view um we got to see Haman and Mem Mem memukin i think it says memukin memukin i don't know how to pronounce it whatever but um i thoroughly enjoyed it i'm not going to talk too much about it biblical fiction like i said all about the book of esther and if you want to see my reading vlog with the eye on the screen go watch my book review as well but thoroughly enjoyed it all the way okay and finally for the month of april only read three christian related books so the first one i read was the peddler by lindsey a franklin i think you can just look here um read this of course with my sis stephanie we buddy read it we wanted to read more fantasy 
um and i gave this book four stars i actually want to buy the physical copy of it it was really good i enjoyed it it's pretty much the magic system is all about um storytelling and when you tell stories or you sing songs or you draw it kind of has like these magic threads that are made to uh craft things and it is so so good definitely could see some of the faith aspects in this um i'm, I'm definitely gonna do a review on it when i get physical copies because it was so good i thoroughly enjoyed it it was YA fantasy christian fantasy and we loved it we thoroughly enjoyed it and um i can't wait to continue on with it and read the second but i think the third and final book just came out this year so um yeah so then we have the Pharaoh's daughter by misu andrew finally read this i know this was supposed to be a book club read book club is on hold right now with everything going on with myself personally and then also with covid and things like that but um i gave this four stars this follows Anith, um, who was the daughter of the pharaoh who found Moses, and it does feature Shapira, uh, Jokobed, Miriam, uh, Moses, and Pua. Um, I liked it, but I wasn't fully invested in it, which is why I couldn't give it five stars. Um, definitely enjoyed the writing of it, but I was not invested in the characters enough to care about their lives. Um, and Moses pissed me off again in this. For some reason, I don't know what it is, but the way she wrote Moses irritated me. Um, I felt so bad for Anip and um, Pharaoh and their sister, just the stuff that they had to go through and witness and, and it was tragic. But overall, I did enjoy it before stars. The last one that I read for the month was So Harvest, of course, book four in the Left Behind series and I gave this 4.5 star rating. This was epic. There are no words to explain my feels and what I want to happen next. I'm just... I'm on the edge of my seat just waiting to see what happens next of course listen to the audiobook I did read along but like I said the audiobook for me the way that it's written it's so much better with the audiobook um and I'm thoroughly enjoying this series like I can't wait to continue on with book five for May but um yeah and I, the covers are just so really nice they're like really nice and simple but yeah I enjoyed it it was a 4.5 star so I'm I started with the first three books being a four star and now the fourth book is a 4.5 star so i'm hoping the fifth book goes up even more to like a 4.7 or 5 star but that is it i believe for my wrap up you guys three months worth of a wrap up um pretty good reading months i didn't have a lot of bad books bad books per se um i think anything over a three stars is great but my enjoyment of the books you know just one technically bad book was a dnf we don't know if we're gonna finish that now later just get rid of it i don't know um but uh yeah that is it you guys for this video thank you guys for watching waiting commenting subscribing thank you so much i am well over 3,000 subscribers i need to still do my 3,000 subscriber giveaway i gotta figure that out but i believe from the time that i'm making this video i'm sitting at 3,100 subscribers which blows my mind like when i made this channel i wasn't expecting to for it to be received the way it's been received um and i am so honored grateful and humbled like that it's been received in good light um and that you guys can come to my channel and really see a representation of christ in me and through me so yes that is it if you are not a daughter of increase join the family click the subscribe button we are welcoming you if you are a man and you want to you, you want to join in come on i have son of you can be a son of increase okay son of increase is definitely a thing it's definitely a thing okay um and if you are subscribed to the channel click the bell to stay notified every time i post a new video if you have any comments questions or concerns any thoughts leave them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video bye